Dr. Greenspan believed that every child had the initial potential to be wooed into a caring relationship and develop a sense of care and care about people. It was this caring about people, he believed, that leads to a sense of moral integrity. And it was through the caregiver interactions, the nurturing relationship with this caregiver, that a child develops this capacity. He knew that altruism and kindness develop early, but he also knew that so did cruelty, and that children can be guided and nurtured and encouraged to go down one path or the other based on the experiences through the nurturing relationships they have. People often don't think about these capacities developing very early in life, but, but that was actually part of Dr. Greenspan's belief structure, that all of these emotional capacities begin very early in life with the key relationships that we begin to experience. He knew that warmth, love, kindness, support, and compassion were all key ingredients to the development of this capacity, but also were things like limits, where a child may not be happy with you saying no or looking at them with a scorn on your face, but nonetheless, they know that you care about them and love them because the net experience over a period of time is a positive one. If a child knows you love them, then limits and boundaries are more well received because it's just a small part of the overall experience. However, when a child isn't stable in that belief, when they're not firm in their relationship with the caregiver, unfortunately, limits and boundaries can sometimes have the opposite effect, especially if the limits and boundaries are being provided in a way that does not encourage a child to actually care about what's been happening around them. And when we say care, care is an operative piece of this overall developmental process. Many professionals and parents focus on teaching children right versus wrong, good versus bad, etc. And this comes in the form of discussions, boundaries, limits, punishments, timeouts, etc. And while certainly being able to identify what is right and wrong or good and bad is important, it's actually more important that the child learns to care about what is right and wrong, not just identify it. The ability to care about how people are treated, care about how our actions impact others, is different than just knowing what right and wrong is. Well, if we see how our actions impact a loved one, a caregiver, early in life, we create a foundation to our understandings of other people and their responses to our actions. And through the affective exchange with our caregivers, the play and the interaction, we actually develop an appreciation and care for this caregiver being positive and having fun and being and enjoying their time with us. We know that having someone connect with us on our level and join us in our pursuits and being interested in us leads to us being interested in them. This continues to expand throughout our lives as we become symbolic and logical. Now we can actually answer the questions why it matters, why we need to be good or be, be truthful, etc. But this all begins early in life with just developing an appreciation and care for how other people feel based on our actions and what we do. So you can see there's a natural connection between empathy and moral integrity. In one of his books, Great Kids, Dr. Greenspan talks about a child's understanding of cheating on a test. Well, a child could know they're not supposed to cheat on the test, know they might get punished, etc. That's not necessarily showing they care about being altruistic and truthful. But if the child has an understanding that if they cheat on the test, that it effectively nullifies the purpose of the test, the purpose of the studying, even their classmates' purpose for doing those things, then we start to see that actually our perception of the world around us, our sense of empathy, all feeds in to our ability to understand morality. So caring about all the different pieces that might be impacted by doing something that is considered amor immoral is different than just knowing that you're not supposed to do something and that something else is the right thing to do. And the reason why that's important is because if no one is there to provide a consequence or punishment or provide oversight, simply knowing what's right and wrong is not typically enough to actually drive behavior. However, caring about what's right and wrong is.